Hi, this is David at PDF Automation Station. In the last video, I showed you how to make a static PDF stamp from scratch, and you're looking at it right here. It's just a one page PDF, but it is a template, and that's how we get a stamp. In this video, I'll show you how to add some dynamic fields to that stamp. The first thing I'm going to do is add those fields. I'm going to press Shift Control 7 to go into form editing mode. Then I'm going to select the text stamp and I'll just add four text fields to this PDF. I'm going to put the fourth one over here. And I'm going to expand these. And here's a little trick to, um, to resize a bunch of fields. Just select them all and right click on the one that you want the size to be like. And then you'll see set fields to same size. You can do height, width, or both. I'll just do both. And then I'm going to rename these fields. I'm just going to resize that one. So let me uh, go into the properties, the general tab for the name. This is where my script's going to go. So I'm just going to call this field script. And you can name these fields whatever you want, but it's a good idea for scripting if you name them something that's easy to remember that coincides with the stamp. So in this one, I will put amount. And notice I don't have to close and open this properties box every time. I can just click on the next field and you see the name change there. So this one I'm going to call approved. And the last one I'll just call that date. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a user response to fill in the amount. Approved by is going to pull from the Adobe identity automatically and the date we're going to have it insert today's date automatically So if you go to the identity you can go to edit uh, Preferences identity or you could simply press control K in Windows the preferences come up You see the identity and we're going to pull this right here name, which is David D Next thing I'm going to do is show you my script that I have for this calculation script in a text file. And it's always going to start like this with a stamp. You have an if statement with two statements inside there. You have event.source.forreal, which means that just means there's a stamp that's in action right now. And you also have event.source.stampName. That means it's a specific stamp. And this stamp name is actually the AP or appearance of the stamp. It says XX. That's not what it is. I'm going to show you how to get that and we'll just paste it in there. There's a couple ways you can get that. If you open the console while you're in this template or stamp file, press Control J. I'm just going to type this dot Template, template, templates, this dot templates and run that script. It says object template equals hashtag my test stamp equals my test stamp. This my test stamp is the, the uh, name of the stamp and this is the AP which is what we're looking for. So I'm going to copy that. Confusing because it's the appearance or the AP, but in the script it says stamp name. I'll just paste that there. And I'm going to close this console. I'm going to show you another way also to get that name. So I just went to a different document here, and I'm actually going to stamp that. My stamp category, and here's the stamp. I'll just go ahead and stamp with that static stamp. I will now select it. You can see it's selected. I'll open the console again and I'm going to type this selected knots square brackets with a zero period AP. Selected knots means the annotation or the stamp that's selected. The zero means it's the first one selected. It's actually the only one but you can uh, select five and then 
decide which one you're talking about here. So there's only one selected, so it's zero, period, capital AP. I'll run that, and you see the same result. Hashtag my test stamp. So let's go back here, and let's go, I'm going to exit um, control or field editing mode, shift control seven. And I'm going to go back to the text file. File. So let's do the um, the identity first, the name. So I'll put this get field approved period value equals and just type identity period name and let's do the date. Value again of that field equals, and this is how you get today's date in a specific format. Type util period print d bracket, and then this is the format in the quotes. So I'm going to go month slash day slash full year for y's comma, then just put this is the date object new date brackets, and then one more bracket to close out that statement. So now let's do the response for the amount. So the user, so there'll be a pop-up response when the user uh, selects that stamp. So again, I'm going to go this get field, and this time it amount dot value equals app response. And what I have inside these quotations is just the label on that response field. So I'll just put amount, colon, quotes. And that should do it. Let me select all of this, control A, copy it, control C. And then let's just put that into this, this as a custom calculation in this field. I could do it in one of these fields, but then instead of this dot get field, I would put event dot value. But I like to keep all my scripts in a separate field. So let's go edit and paste, control V, save that, close it. And I'm gonna save the stamp now. I'm just gonna click this save icon here. Go back to my blank, let's delete this. I don't need it. Let's restamp that and see what happens. And there's my amount pop up. Let's just put $1,000. And there you see my $1,000, my identity that's pulled from the preferences from the name. And then you see today's date right there. I'm going to show you something else that might happen here. This is kind of an issue with the response box. If I put cancel, then I end up still with my name and still with the date, but it says the amount is null. We don't want that in the stamp. There's a couple things you can do there. We can go back and change that script, write an if statement that says don't put anything here if, if the response is null. Or another way is we could put a custom format script into this amount field. So go on format and custom edit. And I'm just going to put go if event value is equal to null event dot value equals nothing blank that is not right put some quotes around this there so that worked. So if you click in this field, 
that's the value is no but it's going to display nothing which is perfect right so i'll save that go back to the stamp let's do it again and i will put a number 44 and you see the number 44 let's stamp it again i'm going to cancel this so it should say no in there but it says nothing in there and that's what we want and that's all there is to it uh thanks for watching see you next time